Hey everybody, it's Anthony here from Nash Tech, and in this video I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to install RAM on your computer. In this video I'll be using the Kingston HyperX RAM. These are 4 gigabytes per stick, and Kingston was kind enough to send it to me to do videos for, so I already did an unboxing of these if you want to go check out the unboxing, and I'll have a review up pretty darn soon. But let me first say that installing RAM is probably one of the easiest things you can do on your computer. My computer that I'm using for this video is a simple screw off the back and the panel pops off. And like I said, this is one of the easiest things you can do to upgrade your computer. It is probably so easy that most of you may not even need this as a tutorial video. But there are some people out there who have no computer experience, don't know how to switch out parts, upgrade, etc. And this could be kind of helpful for that kind of person. So in here we have the entire computer. This is a more compact computer and this is not the computer I'll be using for the review of these. This is just a computer that I'm using to install the RAM on and it was a little easier to film it even though it doesn't look as easy to see it's still easier than the computer that I'm going to be doing the review on so at least you can get a little better picture here and see how it looks to install so back here by the fan and the CPU we have the old RAM stick and this one only came with one stick in it and it only has two dim slots so you got to pop these things out on the sides on each side there's these two little levers you pop them out and the RAM kind of pops up a bit and then you can actually pull the whole RAM out yourself and it might take a little bit of wiggle to get it out, but it will just come right out and it is quite easy. So now that we have the RAM out, we have two open slots here on the computer and we can put our own new sticks in. You gotta make sure that it is correctly set so you can see there's a slight little groove right there and you match that up to the RAM, uh, how the groove it is on the board. So you just pop it in and once you push down hard enough, please apply a little pressure, the sticks uh, will kind of snap in and then the side clamps will pop up so it kind of locks itself in place. Don't be afraid, like I said, to apply a little pressure and push down a little hard. But if you're pushing too hard and it's not happening, make sure you have it lined up correctly, etc. You might be pushing in the wrong spot or you might not have it lined up. So like this, I just push down on one side. It doesn't go all the way. You have to do two, both sides at the same time and then it kind of snaps and you can see the, the uh, release on the side just there it goes, it snaps right in. And like I said, it does take a little bit of pressure. So that is quickly how you install the RAM. And as you can see now, I installed two four gigabyte sticks, that's eight gigabytes total. And this, like I said, is not like a gaming PC or anything. It was just a little easier to film the installation on than the gaming PC I'll be using. So here you go, you can see the Geekbench score. It's not a very high computer. And like I said, it is basically just a working computer for um, like word and web browsing. So. Stay tuned for the review of this Kingston HyperX RAM. If you want to go check out the unboxing, click that video on the left. And if you want to check out the unboxing for the Sony MDR-V6 Studio Monitoring Headphones, go check out that video on the right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.